So this is my Mercury. Um, just got it. Actually, didn't just get it. It's got about 800 k's on it. Um, yeah, it's a good looking bike. Do a quick run around. So that's it there. Um, yeah, so I've had time to wear it in a bit. Um, do all that kind of stuff. Show you how it goes. It's got this. It's got a handlebar lock if you push it in to the right. Which is nice. So it is a carburetor, so starting up it is always interesting. Um, I find that most times I have to use a bit of a choke. It is warming up now though, so that might change. Come on you bastard. Alrighty, so that's uh, that's how it drives. It's not bad. Um, I did have a few problems with the bike when I first got it. So uh, the um, the clutch cable uh, frayed there quite a bit, and then um, it led to the clutch not fully disengaging, um, which is really frustrating. I do have adjustable levers, so that. Uh, uh, even they didn't help at that point. Um, yeah, the rear brake is a bit squeaky, but that can be fixed with some brake grease. Um, the gears are still a bit touchy um, to trying to engine brake and all that kind of stuff. Um, really not a big fan of the kill switch, but that's kind of compulsory in New South Wales. And the indicators have to be 30 centimetres apart, which just looks gross. Um, yeah, but uh, it's a good bike. I got it for about five grand new, and um, that included the kind of Clubman bars and the bar and mirror, that kind of stuff. It's got a nice looking reservoir. That's not standard either. Um, no windshield. Everything's pretty bare, and uh, you've got the. Um, Everything's pretty accessible though, as a, just a standard battery, not a lithium one. Spark plug's just there, so if anything goes wrong, it's really not hard to fiddle around with. Um, it's a carburetor, which is pretty shitty. Got a kickstart in case you need it, um, but also a electric start. It's a really nice bike, getting used to it. Um, yeah, the rotors, the front disc brake, not to get a better angle on that, just uses that much of the rotor, which I find a bit weird. Um, they do have a bigger model bike by the same company, which probably just uses the same, um, rotor, and they use the whole one on the other bike. I don't know, don't know how that works. Um, my kickstand, uh, spring fell off one time, so... That's a bit of a design flaw, if I have to say so. Um, yeah, I was just turning a corner and it fell off, which is, like, that shouldn't happen. No offence. But, um, yeah, the chain stretched quite quickly at first, and now it's doing its thing just fine. Um, yeah, it's a good-looking bike. 
do have to say that. Yeah. Anyway, as we give it another ride, and then um, that'll be it. Let me know if you have any questions or anything else you'd not like to know about the bike, and I'll do my best to answer them. Yeah, so that's my review of the Mercury by Sol Invictus. Um, I just wanted to add a few things before I finish. Um, the dealer um, that I bought it from in Camperdown is extremely helpful. So like when my spring fell off, I just rang them up. It's like my spring fell off. Um, went in and they're like, oh, here's a new spring. Um, gave me a chat about the bike, showed me some videos. Um, really helpful and I do recommend speaking to them if you're thinking about getting one um, get it new because they're yeah they're just extremely helpful um, their services are quite expensive but um, I guess you win some you lose some um, also on the um, the display uh, there's no taco so you can't see your revs um, you just have to hear them and also the indicator lights are quite dim in the daylight so that's uh, that's another thing um, but yeah, I love the bike. Um, definitely recommend getting one. Um, there are a few issues here and there, but they're easily fixed. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any more questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, speak to the guys over in Camperdown, or I think there's a store in um, Newcastle, which was which is where they started. Um, extremely helpful, and. Um, yeah, um, something also important to note is that this is not the BRAP model, which apparently isn't exactly the same. Some of the dimensions and stuff are different, I don't know how it works. And they're in a bit of trouble over, um, what are they, like vehicle rebirthing or something. Also it's pretty hard to find an insurer that actually insures this bike. Um, for some reason, a lot of insurers insure the BRAP models, which are the dodgy ones. So. Yeah, got nothing there. Thanks for listening.